friends, welcome to the Gamer's Attic Show. I am your host, Player One, and today we have our Loved Again Media Box for the month of May. And as always, it's always an exciting time to see what's exactly inside of this box. So, you know, I can't say enough, you know, I can't say enough good things about Loved Again Media. They're just a great subscription. The price point of $21.99 a month with free shipping is the best thing about this for me. And you guys get five games every month. Um, time to time, you might get a extra game, making it six games. They also have a 10 game um, box, which is $39.99. You're gonna be typically getting games for Xbox, PlayStation, and Wii, GameCube. All of those disc-based systems pretty much is what you're gonna be getting. And even from time to time, Love the Game Media will give you some cartridges. As you have seen in my previous videos, I've gotten some really cool Sega Genesis stuff. A lot of my friends have been ordering the boxes and they're pretty happy with it. Yeah, I mean, it's just a great, great box. I know in April, there was a lot of uh, folks who do the subscription. They got a lot of disc-only games, which, you know, it is kind of like a bummer. Like for me, that's okay. Um, I have a lot of disc games in my collection that are loose and I'm looking to complete them. So just having the disc is already uh, half the battle. So, so yeah, I mean, I could definitely say that, yeah, I mean, I do like getting my games complete in box. Let's see what I got for this box. And, and I'm gonna be checking those videos here on May on YouTube to see what you guys got. It's always enjoyable to see what everyone's getting and comparing. Okay, so the most important thing, packing material. Oh, a lot of packing. That's good. That's always a good sign to get that kind of stuff. Oh, okay, there's more packing in there. Okay, so the game you see behind me, Super Mario Brothers RPG, which is a really awesome game. I just had to put it on there. Um, I watched the Mario movie last month and it was just a phenomenal, phenomenal film, which is now it's crossed over $1 billion globally. So that's just fantastic, fantastic news. So I've been downsizing a lot on my collection just to buy more of the carts that I enjoy the most. So more of the expensive carts. So I don't know, there's like, okay. There's something in a wrap there. I don't know what it is, but let's see what the first game is. Oh shoot, Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. I, honestly, that's awesome. Complete in box with the disc. I don't know, um, never heard of this. Uh, I'll be honest, I've never heard of this one. Wow, Metal Gear Solid 4. What do you guys think? Pretty awesome. And I love PS3 games, so. I think this is, what is this, second game? Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith. Huh. You know, there's so many Star Wars games. Okay. So this one, um, disc is great. Just fill out there. Um, no instruction manual, but it does come with the box. This looks really good. I've played a lot of Star Wars games. I've never played this one. Seems like a, like a fun game. Uh, the only one I've played on Xbox is, um, man, I forget now. It's an RPG one, but that was a really good one. What do you guys think about that? Cool, huh? So a little mix there, Xbox, PlayStation. Third game in the box. Let's see what it is. Finding Nemo Platinum Hits. Okay. You know, I've never, <laughs> I've never watched a Nemo movie. Never, never seen it. It was something that my kids would play, all, would play a lot of in the house when they were little, my oldest. It was a DVD that we had and that thing was scratched to bits, but it still worked. <laughs> he played that so many times, but yeah. 
Looks good, complete, fun kids game, I guess. Fourth game in the box here. Fantastic Four. Okay. Fantastic Four. It's um, disc only. It's got a marker label, a uh, marker in there, but the disc looks great. I've seen the Fantastic Four movies. I did not like them so much. Yeah. I think Jessica Alba was probably the highlight of that movie. And... Okay, this is the fifth game. So it's five games, I think, and it's in here. It's probably a cartridge game. I wanted to leave this last because they packed it separately in there. I'm wondering what it is. Could it be a Sega Genesis game? Oh no, wait, it's, it's two games. It looks like Game Boy. I've never gotten Game Boy. Oh man, look at that! Super Mario Land! That is freaking awesome! Wow! That's freaking awesome, dude! I do have this game on Game Boy, by the way, but um, this one's way better looking copy than mine. Wow, you know I love cards. Thank you, love the good media. Thank you. That's freaking awesome. Okay, another Game Boy game. So this is game number six. Holy snappers, and it's got the case. It's Power Rangers, the movie. Look at that. Oh man, that's crazy. Oh man, this is great. Great, great. I don't know what to say. All right, guys. So, my favorite game of this box, I think you guys are going to know, is. Super Mario Land for the Game Boy. This is a great, great game, and I can't get enough of Mario. Then, my runner-up. Man, this was kind of hard because I do like Metal Gear on Nintendo. Um, that and Snake's Revenge, and also the Metal Gear on PlayStation. The, the, I think it was, uh, I don't know, it was a Metal, the first Metal Gear on PlayStation. So... I'm going to have to go, I'm a big Power Ranger fan too, so I'm gonna have to go with Power Rangers on the Game Boy because I'm a big Jason uh, David Frank uh, fan, so that's just a big deal to me and, and to have him on the front cover right there is awesome and I really gotta check this out. So guys, this is the price charting total of all of these games. And hey guys, thank you again for watching. If you like this channel, hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons to stay up to date on what is going on here on the Gamer's Attic. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye. TGA.